Hi folks, today we're going to be changing between logarithmic form, which you were just introduced to in the last lesson when we talked about log logarithmic parent functions. Um, but we're going to change between logarithmic form and exponential form. So one of the things that you learned about with the logarithmic parent function, which by the way is y equals log base b to the power of x, and exponential form, which that parent function is y equals base b to the power of x. So what you learned is that these are what? These are inverses of each other. So the logarithmic parent function and the exponential parent function are inverses of each other as long as their bases are the same. So today we're going to learn how to switch between the two. And I'd like to reorder something that we have at the top of our notes. In fact, I'm going to reorder several things in these notes. Um, I'd like for this, this P equals, I'd like for this to be on this side, just because it's the way that a lot of your problems are uh, laid out. We have log base B of N and it equals P. So I just took this and I popped it over there on that side. Okay. So first we're going to start out, we're actually not going to start out with these example ones and these six problems. We're actually going to start out with these down here where it says change to exponential form because I want you to understand the kind of format of a log. So in a logarithm, we have a b, and remember that this b is the base. Okay, so this b is the base. I'm going to go ahead and highlight it in yellow because the b is the base. And that base is still the base whenever you change from a logarithmic form to exponential form. So remember that when you raise something to a power, that thing that you're raising to a power is the base. The exponent is P. Well, that P shows up right here when you are in logarithmic form. And B to the power of P, so a base to a power, B, P, base power, equals a number. And that number shows up here in a logarithm. So we have a base, we have a power, and it equals a number. We have a base raised to a power, and it equals a number. So a lot of times the easiest way for us to kind of um, make sense of this is you take your base, you kind of draw an arrow to the power, you kind of put the little caret symbol for power, then you put your equal sign and then it equals this number. So we're going to practice down here. In fact, let me see if I can, there we go. I can get this and this in the screen at one time. So we have log base 5 of 25 equals 2. So the base is here. The power is here. And the number that it equals is here. So we can rewrite this exponential form as base 5 to the power of 2, and it equals our number 25. And that's how you rewrite from logarithmic form to exponential form. Let's try it again with problem B. We have log base 2 of 1 fourth equals negative 2. We have our base raised to our power, and it equals a number. So if I rewrite this, I have 2 to the power of negative 2, and it equals 1 fourth, which makes sense because 2 to the power of negative 2 would be 1 over 2 squared, and 1 over 2 squared is 1 over 4. Let's try it with our next few problems. So example 2c, we have a base raised to a power and it equals a number. So x to the power of 4 equals 81. 
And remember, we're just changing to exponential form. We're not solving at this time, so we're not trying to find the value of x. We're just trying to rewrite into exponential form. Example 2d, I want you to ignore this x that is here. It should just be log base 2 of y equals x. So your base is 2, your exponent in it is x, and it equals y. So 2 to the power of x equals y. In problem 2e, it looks like we don't have a base. So I want you to write down a note right here that if no base is shown, assume that the base is 10. So I could rewrite this as log base 10 of 100 equals x. And when I transform this from logarithmic form to exponential form, base 10 to the power of x equals 100. Base 10 to the power of x equals 100. Again, we're not solving, we're just rewriting in exponential form. So I'd like you to pause your video and try this last problem. You should have written 4 to the power of y equals 256. Base 4 to the power of y equals 256. So now that we kind of understand how to go from logarithmic form to exponential form, let's try and go the other way. So we've kind of got this to look at. We've got two examples to look at so that we can do these six problems. So in example one, it says change to logarithmic form. Right now, these problems are in exponential form because they have a base to a power, so a base to an exponent. So here's our base. That's the number that you're raising to a power. Here's the power. And here's the number that it equals. So when I rewrite this, I have log. The base is a subscript number down here, so the base is 3. I'm going to skip over to equals the exponent, the power. That power is 2. And the number 9 belongs here. So 3 to the power of 2 equals 9. So log base 3 of 9 equals 2. Part B. I have a base. I have a power. And I have a number that it equals. So I rewrite this as log with the base of 4. The number is 1 16 put it in parentheses because I have a habit of putting fractions in parentheses so they stay together, and it equals the power, which is negative 2. So it's a little bit harder to go from exponential form to logarithmic form, but it can be done, particularly when you get confident with the base and the power and the number. So in part C, 5 to the power of 2 equals 25. So log base 5 of 25 equals the power of 2. Here, log base 8 of 1 equals 0, a power of 0. Here, log base C of h equals a power of 2. I'd like for you to pause your video and try example 1f. Change this exponential form into logarithmic form. So you should have log base a of 3, your number, and it equals the exponent 1 half. So that's how you change from logarithmic form to exponential form and from exponential form to logarithmic form.